Today, I thought to share with you how the hash map works internally in Java. So when we write map equals to new of hash map, it actually creates an array internally of default size 16. Let's call it as table array. Every slot of this array is referred to as a bucket and the bucket is a place where we store key value pair. Now when we write map.put India comma New Delhi, it will first find the hash value for the key that is India. Then it performs some internal calculation to map the hash value to an index and hence it stores the key value pair in the bucket. Now let's say we add another element as map.put England comma London and somehow the hash value of England comes to be same as India. This means that their index value is also going to be same. So Java will use equals method to compare two keys and let's assume the answer is true. So it will replace the value for the key and update the entry in bucket as India comma London. But we all know that is not true and hence this will result in a hash collision. Now to solve this before Java 8, it used to start a linked list to store multiple entries in the same bucket. But that makes searching slow by order of n. So since Java 8, if the number of entries in a single bucket are less than 8, it will create a linked list. But the moment it exceeds 8, it converts the list to a red black tree known as self-balancing binary tree. This brings down the searching to order of n log n. But what if all its 16 buckets get filled and new element comes? To avoid this scenario, the moment array fills by 75%, it will automatically double size of the array and rearrange elements. This is known as rehashing. And that's how the hash map works internally in Java. If you find this helpful, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends who are learning Java. Also, do let me know in the comments which concept should we explain in the same way. Thanks.